Hey, welcome back to your daily dose of uh, a little bit comic pressing and oh, it's off to a good start already. Need to throw the uh, logo up in the back. A little out of it today, but that's all right. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> okay. So uh, yesterday we started on Demon number one. It had some significant spine roll and um, I was able to take care of some of the spine roll. I can uh, show you here. You can see down the left hand side how far the staples are rolled over. I couldn't get a good back photo. For some reason my photo, my photo um, file types are HCEI, which I think is a live photo on my iPhone. Not sure. I need to figure out how to easily and quickly transform them into JPEGs. And I got this one transformed right at the last second, but the back photo uh, is not. Hey, I know how to show it. I know how to show that back photo. Give me one second. There we go. So, boom. Just share my computer screen. <clears throat> you can see that the, um, all the pages are showing, you know, the, the staples have rolled over. You can see, you know, up by the animal chew here. Uh, and, uh, you know, ton of dirt on this book. Kind of a kind of an old dirty old dirty dog but I, I was able to fix the roll um, let's take a look I think this, this is this now I've done some mark removal okay on the Rob so I've got some staining up around I basically just use isopropanol and uh, heat <clears throat> and uh, it has lightened somewhat. It takes a ton of, it's a, it's a long process. It takes a lot of applications as far as I know. Uh, what Rick was talking about last night was cold, cold pressing and getting transfer that way. So I'll probably put this in a cold press today, right now. Here it is, um, looking pretty sharp. Man, that's a good picture. Um, looking pretty good and you can see the the um, the the mark removal is decent okay so Let's just get back and we can toggle between the mark removal. So you can see there the upper left, the rob is pretty dark and it has lightened significantly. Now there is a big water stain around it. Uh, that's actually uh, alcohol, but <clears throat> I don't, I don't think I should have any problem getting that out. That's just, that's just water treatment. I can get that out pretty easily. But the spine roll was easy to fix. Um, what I did was I opened the book to the centerfold, laid the book flat in the press, uh, used a lot of uh, parchment paper so that nothing would stick. I steamed the book previously before putting it in the press and then, and then uh, placed it in the press and just pressed it five minutes, I think, and uh, took it out and put a new fold in it. I used a bone folder to sort of run down the spine and, uh, and get a new fold on it. And it looks, it looks much better. It looks much better. So, um, yeah. So got a lot more to do on that. Uh, today, I just want to do some basic presses because I had an interview last night and in the interview, um, some people were mentioning that the 
CGC was giving out some restored grades on some cleaned comics and that the only thing that had been done was washing them with water, which is problematic because they don't give a restored grade on any water staining. I mean, if there's water on the book, they don't they don't put a restored grade. So I don't really understand. I think, you know, there is a little bit of shrinkage when you wash the book in the washing machine, which this is a washing machine. Um, <clears throat> there is a little bit of shrinkage. Just not sure how they could even tell. I mean, maybe there's a juxtaposition between the cover quality and the interior page quality. I have no idea. And then there's more messages saying that people got back books and they all received blue labels. So who knows? Maybe, who, who knows? Um, but it, it's scary because I don't want to, I don't want to restore comics. I want to improve them without restoration. I, I'm not adding anything to these books and I want them to be better <clears throat> just by the process, you know? So, um, yeah. So I do have a book that I want to throw in the press today. Um, and it's, uh, it's a DC book. I think DC is, is running hot right now. It's always on the hot 10 and it's, uh, Swamp Thing 37. This is the first appearance of John Constantine. I love this character, man. I thought Keanu Reeves did a really good job portraying him, um, some years ago. It had to be the mid-teens. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pull this out. A nice mylar very yellow book so just want to be careful will not be doing this doesn't need light treatment it doesn't it doesn't need much what it does have is some bins on the bottom so let me uh, get my software going here You can see right there, those bins, hoping to remove those, uh, if not all the way, a lot of the way. And that should be as simple as turning on the press. Just want to get rid of those little bendies. It's got some spine ticks. Yeah, right now this is probably a 7.0. <clears throat> got a nice corner crease here that breaks color. Does it break color? Yeah, it definitely breaks color. It's hard to get the light to, to glare. You can see the shadow of the bend. So this is a great ad. I always love this ad, the Huffy Stu Thompson. I had this bike. I had this bike as a child. It was, it was uh, one of my Christmas presents. And it's one of the greatest Christmas presents of my life, honestly. I think I was five or six years old. I got the 20 inch Stu Thompson. I've actually been looking for one of these. I saw one on eBay once and it was in really great shape. And they wanted 800 bucks for it. So, I probably a deal. That's probably a good deal for a mint condition, you know, vintage bike like that. But I couldn't. I didn't want to. Didn't want to do it. Didn't want to do it. <clears throat> but it was awesome. Uh, I wrecked that bike and busted my chin open. It was. I still feel it. I can still feel that shocking blast to the face. Okay, so I guess what we need to do is just add a little steam. I'm not thinking this needs cleaned. It looks pretty good. Maybe a little there. So let's just... Uh, 
get the little steamer going. <clears throat> I saw Ben uh, Big John has a new steamer, and I'm thinking about looking looking into getting that from uh, Amazon because <clears throat> uh, I have had some spitting from the steamer uh, when it gets going and rolling when it's really full. Some of the steam will bubble, bubble, bubble up out of the top, and uh, so yeah. This staple looks a little. Got some stuff on it. Let's take a look inside. Take a look inside, you'll see. In living color, white pages. That's nice. Good page quality. <clears throat> 1985. Alan Moore, Rick Veach, John Tottlebin. Uh, I have a nice graded copy of this that was a CGC conserved 9.8. I sent it to CBCS. It came back a 9.6. But it was a certified, they certified the signatures. Dang it. My camera cut off. Why does it do that? I love this art. I love this. The light on his face. That's John. Oh, Johnny boy. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out what is happening with the camera cutting off. It's going to be some sort of power issue or something. Reese's Pieces. Swamp Thing. <clears throat> I found a uh, House of Secrets 92, 9.4 in 2016. And I sold it. Ugh. I sold it. I hate it. Wish I still had it. I sold some good books. I sold a Hulk 1. That one hurts. I know where it is, but it would cost me more than twice as much to get it back. So, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Back page looks good. Noxema clear ups. Alcohol wipes. All right, we are going to the steamer. Just going to add a little steam here. Back first. Into the front. This is just a basic press. Nothing too big. Nothing, nothing too crazy today. I do still have Thor 1 and 34 in the light box. I'm going to fry that thing. I don't know. I don't know when it'll come out. <clears throat> I'm looking to get the edges complete. Rick was saying last night that I need to um, put some reflective material around the sides so that the so that the it can bounce onto the edges. So turn the steam off. Come back to the come back to the table. All right, I need to heat up this lower plate real quick. Curious what you guys think about how often, how how often you change your parchment <clears throat> because it does get some wear to it, but it's not awful, you know. I need to get, I just it stacks up, you know. It just like you just keep using it, and it I struggle throwing things away. I'm a hoarder. I hoard used parchment paper along with everything else. Here's a magazine board that I can use. Here's two magazine boards that I can use. <clears throat> oh, yeah. 
One chamfer board there, two chamfer boards here. Champer chamfered boards are the best. Yes, y'all, link in the description. Link in the description. I do need to, <clears throat> I need to work harder. I need to figure out Amazon affiliate links. I think the fact that I don't really have any viewers is why I'm not more proactive in building the channel. But I gotta get over that mindset because, I mean, seriously, it's not like I'm, you know, what do I think is gonna happen? That they're just gonna be there waiting? <clears throat> you gotta make a product first. You gotta make it, you gotta make it first before people can tune. See, that's, I need to get rid of that. <sighs> okay. You gotta make it first. And I can't wait for the haters. I'm so excited to get haters. I am so excited to get haters. If you would like to leave me a hateful comment, please do. Please do make me feel something. I want to feel something, anything. It reminds me of that line from Spider-Man Noir in, uh, in um, the animated Spider-Man movie. That was a great film. Great film. Can't wait for number two. So I watched Mandalorian last night. <clears throat> it was okay. I think I need to give it another watch. He's trying to rebuild 88, which is cool. That's cool. 88 woke up. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I guess I need to wait to discuss that. Need to stay on the switcher. Keep up with the switcher. <clears throat> oh yeah. Lord Vader. I think of Vader with this press, you know, like him getting out of the, uh, out of his, whatever he's in, in his ship, in his destroyer. <clears throat> All right, so we are pressing, we've got 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at uh, Thor 134 and see how we're doing. Oh, it seems like it's been in the light for days. <clears throat> Get these out of the way. I'm, I'm still not, still not happy with it. Still not happy with Thor 184. So we are going to put it back in right after. You can see one of the, one of the inside deals. Need to do a white set on my main cam. <clears throat> was super yellow. Now it's better. Now it's better. This is what I really look like, according to the standard color profile of Panasonic Lumix cameras. Okay, so where to? Right here. I'm not going to add any more peroxide. Apparently, you don't want to keep adding peroxide, but. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about here. See this, it looks per it looks great. Like, but it's yellow. Trust me, it is yellow. I can't really explain it any other way. It's yellow. And I, I don't want it to be like super crispy white, but I want it uniform. I want it to look uniform. 
back in the back in the baby we go. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I spent all day looking for this thing yesterday. It was hidden on my press. Like this is dark blue and this is black. Dude, I looked in the trash can. I looked all over. I could not find this thing. Um, and it's the it's the top attachment to hold the hold the book on the washing machine. I couldn't find it. I could not find it. So we washed this fellow yesterday. And the sanding is still still there. Got an ant. It's ant season. It's ant season already. March 2nd. So this is what our cover looks like after a wash. And I think it's a little cleaner. Definitely got... Okay, so I only did one side. And you can see <coughs> how the dirt... You can see the line of the dirt. This would be interesting to show here. Uh... Oh gosh. I really need to check the connections. I think it, it must be Ethernet. It's got to be Ethernet. So you can see right right here. Just a huge water streak. This is a roached book. Oh, they're both out. Two cameras are going down. Two cameras are going down. So I'm just going to throw this back in the wash. And wash the other side. Something to do. Keep it moving. Always keep it moving. <laughs> Feeling a little silly today. <clears throat> I got a new accessory in the mail from Italy yesterday for one of my synthesizers. It's a, actually a rack. It's a five-tier rack from Enjoy Electronics that I put together this morning. Kind of excited to, uh, to get that thing pumping. I need to go in and do a bunch of wire work. I should probably change the water in this, but this is just a nothing book, so... Just processing here. Okay. <clears throat> we good there. One more. I lost uh there it is. Need to clean that table. There's some soap on it. It's real sticky. <clears throat> Oops. There we go. There we go. Plug, plug, plug. Plug it in, plug it in. Yes. That is the sound of a miracle. Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. That is the sound of a miracle. Wash it, wash it, wash it. It's gonna be a hit. It's gonna be a hit. It's gonna be a hit. We're gonna hit it with the song. Oh. I'm going crazy. I'm going insane. <clears throat> All right. Right in there, just nice. We're gonna get that water line off there and uh, you'll see it, you'll see it. Got about two minutes left, a little, little more, a little less. About two and a half minutes. I'm gonna show you some of my good good. Some of my nice, nice raw. 
This is some of my good raw. Okay, I'm definitely... It just completely shut down. My camera software just crapped down on me. I'm gonna have to write Panasonic about this and see what they have to say for themselves. It's gotta be the switcher. It's gotta be the ethernet switcher. Like ever since I did the, the um, internet upgrade, I got fiber. I've had some issues with my software. And the one thing that they all have in common is the ethernet switcher that I have. So I don't know. We got, we got about a minute left. And if I can zoom out, I'll show you some cool books. And it keeps dropping, but we're just going to fight through it. Okay. Which one is this? Oh, these are the good ones. These are the real good ones. Ah, I know what that sound is. Just got a delivery, special delivery. Amazon just came. <clears throat> okay. Nice copy of 49. <clears throat> Fantastic 449. Mm. I don't know. I think it's in the 7 range. Maybe 6.5. There is a... Maybe 6.5. Nice book. Nice book. This one... About the same, perhaps. Maybe a little bit nicer. Maybe just a little bit nicer. Love these. How It doesn't get better than that. It does not get better than the first full appearance of Galactus. Like with Surfer coming in. Oh, that's, the, that's so good. So, so good. All right. Uh, all these are unpressed, unclean. No work has been done. I, I, I want to get you know, better before, before I do this. A couple of copies of Journey, 85. This has some, some issues here with chipping. Um, this was actually stuck to the front page. This one has a mark right here. They are nice copies though. Uh, at least very good. This may make it to fine minus. I don't know. I don't know. Big, big chip out of the bottom here. Probably 3.5. That chip, I don't know. That's a pretty big, that's a pretty big chip. So. <clears throat> that's that. What's next? Ooh. This one has a bunch of tape down the spine. Um, it's nearly completely split, and I believe there's some glue in there, too. Hopefully I can get rid of the tape and the glue. This one's nice. This one is very nice. Um, It could be a 9.0. It's got some some scrapes on it, but that's a this is a this is a superior quality book right here. This is uh this is one of my favorite books in my collection. It definitely needs a press. It definitely needs a press, but this is this is a sharp book. I'm excited. Big fan, like, and you know all this is coming. You know Fantastic Four is right around the corner. We've already met Reed Richards and uh, Doctor Strange. I gotta say, man, I... Marvel is meh. They're not really, I mean, 
it's entertaining. It's entertaining. It's it's decent. It it'll work, you know. But like, it's not to me. Infinity War, top of the that was the top. That was the top. Um, Thanos one. It was like, yeah, you know, you gotta. We need some more gravity. Like it's a little popsicle. Like it's a little cotton candy. You know, it just feels very formulaic, you know, like pretty excited about Kang. But then again, at the end, like it just looks sort of 60, 60s Batman, maybe like a little, little campy. Does it look campy? Is it getting campy? Like Doctor Strange look campy. Like, like I said, I enjoy it. I'm not a hater, so it's, it's fine. Um, Thor look campy. It's looking campy. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. This is a nice copy for a Super Scroll. This thing is, is real good. Real sweet copy. Again, maybe 9092. Hoping for the best on that. <clears throat> and then, uh, Holy cow. I didn't even know I didn't even know I had this. I thought I had two of these. I thought I only had two. But this is the third. I remember when I got this. Look at that thing. And to round it out. Kind of a five five maybe. Not too great. These are some of my bangers. Raw, raw bangers. Raw bangers. Uh we're gonna pull out <laughs> We're gonna pull out this uh this swamp thing now. And take a look. Read a book. It's reading rainbow. I can do anything. Just take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. I've got another folio I can share <clears throat> in the future. Uh, I got one more of those. I got some various keys lying around here and there. All right. That was a mess up. That was a mess up. I messed up. <laughs> Send me your books. Send me your books. I'll I'll work on them real good. Nothing to worry about. I can already tell it's better. It's amazing what a press can do. It just it livens it. It just brings it to life. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, still got some bending down there. That may be impossible. Like, even if they're not color breaking, sometimes the creases just remain. The back looks good. So, probably gonna put this in again. I'll do a little more, a little more steam. Just another, another little press to get this back worked out. We're gonna flip it. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down, I know. <clears throat> Bell Biv DeVoe. If you don't know, now you know. Bell Biv DeVoe. Was decent. Decent group. Stu Thompson. Thompson, not Top Thompson. Thompson.
Get it steamy. Steam, 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 steam. Now I've said my steamy steam. You know, the sound of the washing machine just by itself is relaxing. If you would like to order one, they're available <clears throat> at ImmaculateComics.com where I buy all my comic pressing materials. Well, I think that'll do it for today's show. Um, a little bit of a shorter episode today, but, you know, if we got some viewers, I'd probably stay on. And I think if I, um, in a little while, if I start seeing some books come in, which I still need to develop a website and a menu and a, and a service agreement. And, you know, um, perhaps then we can stay on a little bit longer. Because what I, what I would like to do, like what I see in my mind, is perform services live so that you can see them and interact via chat. And uh, that's kind of the goal. Um, but one day at a time, it's been seven days, so I'm not going to rush the process. And I know what I need to do. And... I'm excited to get there, but I'm willing to wait. So that being said, you have a wonderful day, evening, whenever this finds you. I hope you tune in. I hope you watch, and uh, be sure to LCS. Um, all right. Thanks.